percent. It wouldn't be because. Oh, yeah, sorry, you can use a big number. Yeah, for the wisdom. You said, where has glory? If you have no glory, then you don't have a large number. So, it's okay. Yeah. Because you see, yeah, because you see his words, words also. Where two or three are gathered. In his name. It would be there. Right. Yeah. So, he's in the midst. Yeah, so here you are. Right, so this is what I was going back to. Yeah, sure. Like he's the prince of power. Yeah. Wake up. The prince is of power. You say, once, once you keep his law such as a command, he make us prophets, priests, and kings. Yeah. Right? But I don't want to cut you, but the point I was trying to make to you before, uh. before you come to this when I talk about Ishmael, yeah. right? As we would say, Ishmael was gotten in a manner that we believe shouldn't have been, yeah? Right, but yes. yet still, he didn't deny Ishmael True. because he said Ishmael would receive blessings. And he gave him his physical blessings. Right, you understand on, on what I'm this saying? Side. You understand? On this side. And the whole thing about it is this, yeah? Listen, in the multitude, we would have failed, yeah? So that at the end of the day, they are going to be one, two or three, four, five or six that will come to you. And my understanding is this. I don't know who Father God, as I would put it, would have sent to me to test me. Yeah? Somebody may come, as we normally say, it might be a vagrant, it might be a this or that or other. And how I deal, because of the, if you remember the, um, what do you call them? Um, the, um, the Good Samaritan, uh -huh. yeah? So I, I, I will bring it real again. You may not remember, you may not know, but you may know. There's a fellow called CLR James. I'm coming, what your name is? Right, right, good. Now, this fella was considered, right, what they call a communist now. You know, he used to talk in them uh, uh, things, so he, they see him as a communist. And of course, it's taboo. Yeah. But yeah. He was living on Oxford Street in Belmont there, yeah. right? Observing street, street, street Observe. around there, yeah? And he said, when he get up in the morning and he opened his door, he used to have a homeless guy on the ground around there. And he would, you know, when he wake up and there and he organize himself, and he make breakfast, he would bring breakfast with him. Yeah? But there would be those people who would be coming from the church of the road from um, Belmont uh, Roman Catholic Church and they, the and they would pass him straight from. So the point I'm making is that even those who they may cast away and they may put names on and taboo them, they would maintain doing the right thing more than even some of those who may go into a building. Yeah? And, and see certain things. So when you see me and you see other people like me, my brother, you've got to understand and you've got to listen to them because, no, you know? No. no. Yeah. The reason why I was hostile yeah. because I am defending the doctrine. Yeah. No, within defending the doctrine, as I was saying, I wanted, I wanted to get through with the, the story of Balaam and Balak first before I tell you why I tell you about it here. Right? Go ahead. Because when I was speaking to the man, to the brother, say the brother, the man, the yeah. brother yeah. of the daughter that you that you sought yeah. look after. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right? He came in the midst of his speech. Right? So he was disturbing what I was trying to bring out in his spirit and in the taunt and in the, I was there. So he come as a disturbance, so I, I got hostile. Right? So we moved past that. So coming back now, I will reach to the here. Malam and Bala. You, you, you still have it? If you don't have it, I can paraphrase. Right, you don't have it, good. Right, so Balaam, or Balak went to Balaam and said, Curse them. The most I said there is no curse or enchantment against Israel. Yashar Allah. That's what it is, against Yashar Allah. Yeah. These are the people who live in the spirit of the Most High. They keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. Right? They know that the laws are not done away with. You think that it's done away with the sacrificial law. That's what he said, they are coming done away with the sacrificial law. Alright? But he said he cast a stumbling block. The stumbling block was this. He said, if you cause these people to be abominable to the Most High, the Most High will not deal with them. That is what that, 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 that number 23 goes on to say. He will not deal with them. Some of the doctrines and the philosophies that the world go by now cause the people to err. Doctrines and philosophies stem out of school as schools of thought. For example, Christianity is taught by theology. You go, you go, you go up to Joseph right there. To Joseph right there, and um, see you see, this is your wife. 
Christianity, the church of theology, right? You go, you go to a, what, one of the Muslim mosques, they teach you how to be a Muslim, right? But and I have neither, right? Right, you are neither. neither. But, again, it goes back to us believing in this book. In this book, and that, I respect that. Isaiah 44, uh, I think it's what? I respect that. Isaiah 40. Ezekiel, sorry. Ezekiel, Ezekiel, respect your belief. Ezekiel 44 and Respect your belief, you know? But I just believe that. But this is your belief what, too, brother? Yeah, but wait that? This is your belief too. Well, you see, what and I'm saying. Is, is, this, this is your tradition. This is, 44 this, and this is the way of life for you too. Is and 20. Ezekiel yeah. yeah, 44. Yeah, but you see. 44 and 20. You see, well, yeah, yeah. you're going to read, yeah, but yeah. you know, because you're saying certain things here. Because I, I say, well, you know, and I don't mean anything negative. I don't mean anything no, harsh. No, to yeah, well, I just say it myself in that in that slip of your uh, aggression, as you said, you know. I, I watch the brother here because I pass in here and I see these brothers and think with with locks, and I know I that locks. Sorry, I have locks. You don't have locks. What do you call it? No, no, Respect, no respect to you. You have to treat me like a brother all because right, I right, will right. Tell me there's if a, you have a, a different that, word yeah, or whatever, have a tell me. You have a different yeah. interpretation. Yeah, yeah tell me what it is. But I don't know. I'll, let me tell you scriptures first okay, and then we'll go into it. Yeah, everything will, everything will yeah, 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 segue into something else. Go ahead. Ezekiel 44 verse 20. Neither shall they shave their head. You break it down right now, huh? You didn't shut the shit there, so you're not supposed to ball your head. Right, going back to Leviticus chapter 19. Right. Go ahead. Uh. Neither, mark, neither mark your hair, go right. ahead. Mm -hmm. Nor suffer the locks to grow long. Nor not suffer the locks. Yeah, 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 grow too long. Mm -hmm. You know, because, all right, we don't ask scripture to back that way. Well, they shall only pull their head. Pull me to just strip. Nice. All right, to trim. Keep it as, 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 as an eye. Mm -hmm. All right? Neither right. shall any priest drink wine. Yeah, when I the end. Right, that's it right here. You yeah. understand? Yeah. I get no luck. Yeah. Right, actually, 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 wait, wait, wait. But the scripture describes Solomon. Solomon or Samson? Have Samson. Seven Samson. 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 Samson had seven locks. When it goes, when it goes, the Bible dictionary. It's designed upon Victoria Bible dictionary. They describe a lock to be this. Take up, yeah. I grab a lock up here. Right? The angel take off um, I think it was Isaiah by by the locker is here. Right. right? This is our lock. When you go into the scripture you look at the word lock or locks. It goes into it says braided locks. In the Hebrew it means braided locks. It means to take three strands up here and you, you intertwine it and they what we call in the West Indies corn roads, what they call in America, um, they call it uh, they call it corn they call it uh, we call it cane rose. They yeah. call it corn rose. Yeah, corn rose. Nah, yeah. Cane, cane rose. Yeah. Same thing. Same right. Thing. So Sam, Samson has seven cane rose. Do you know why they call it corn or cane rose? Ah, uh, not deviated. Do you know why? No, 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 no. I, the most I can assume is, is, is the way that they are planted. Yeah. The most I can assume. Yeah. I don't have the historical yeah, because, facts. Well, yeah, because but I did research right. on the dreadlocks. Yeah. And when I did the research on the dreadlocks, it goes back to the Mondo priest. Yeah. No, no, but let's, let's one second for correction. All right. right? The originality of it is not dreadlocks. Dreadlocks would a dread would have added was added to it in the new world. Okay. It was simply locks. Okay. Yeah? And they, 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 they applied dread because they wanted to deny the brother, the sister, who wishes to wear it in a particular way. Okay. Right? So, so they applied negative, dread. There. There was a negative connotation. Yeah, so tell me you're not well you know it's dread. Right, right. Yeah? So you know because so you will see yourself as good I'm a dread. You know what I mean? Them, them Rasta dread. Right. Yeah? So it's not that, right? So respect you to that. But I hear your words. You know, I had to leave and thing. And not only, you know, some... Sure. Yeah, almost. Malachi 3 verse 1. You want us to speak up, man? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I apologize for that. I mean dreadlocks. I don't have dreadlocks. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. I don't have dreadlocks. All right. All right. And I appreciate correction. And I appreciate when people are Malachi, you know? 3 yeah. verse Malachi chapter 3 and 6. Right? For I am Yahweh. Right, that's your father name. I change not. He changed not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob. We are the sons of Jacob. Once we have the 12 tribes, 
Why? I not consume. Yeah, not consume. What we not consume by all the whole future not going on on the planet. Right? So it means to say that we, if, you, if you set back any laws, which is a little political, he said for us not to go on here long, but to pull them. Yeah. He said for us not to mark our hair and yeah. mark our beard. That, that, that was one of the ways you kind of differentiate from the Hamai, Hamitic tribes, from the sons of Shem, because we kept our beard. Right? We didn't mark it. Every, every man have their own natural mark. Right? We didn't mark it, we didn't change it. But what we're doing now goes back into vanity. Right? Muhammad, one of the things Muhammad do was you ever see these Muslims, they are, they, they, they dye the baby. They design, they have they a design, design and, they have and, and they, they color it with ruku. Yeah. Right? All that goes back into vanity. Muslim, um, Mohammed, uh, Mohammed was a, a vain, and he was a, a vain man, he was also a homosexual. He was highly into himself. Right? When they do the deep research into him. Right? Well, you see, I was going to tell you, as you come back to that, when, you, when, I, when I was talking about the movement, right? Free Roland. But the movement out of the north coming down, moving, coming so down, Africa. yeah. And you see, it was really um, an intervention, yeah, or, or should I say, uh, a, a sort of imposition of another other culture, yeah, that presumed dominance, yeah, and that was the Arab culture. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Right? Because Although, because even today, right, even today, yes, or if, sorry, oh, yes, yes, because even in the movie Roots, yeah, they showed you that the Moors, they had um, some of the African tribes, not the Moors, some of the African tribes, they had a, um, took up their religion was being Muslim, right, even in the movie Roots, right. So I was just going to show you historical facts, here. and not, right. not in my mind, right, you understand who went to further east, yeah. right. Um, when them fellas reach all on that side, because you know, all down in China have what go down, Islam and all of that, yeah. right? But the point I'm trying to make to you is so, it's so important today. And this is why I, I, I don't disrespect people and what they believe. Because even the, 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 uh, the brother or the sister that spoke Orisha, you understand? That spoke Orisha, you understand? And people do not understand or they wish not to accept or wish not to appreciate the Haitians and they would keep on... Sorry. You know what fella Paul... Look, look yeah. who the Haitians are. Right, but you know what you know, fella Paul um, Uriah Butler? Yes. Yeah. He was a Haitian? I met him, no. I met him. I, had, I call it a, the honor privilege to meet him. Uh -huh. For the man who lead people, yeah? In the way that he would have let people out of slavery, out of uh, that kind of thing, I will always, yeah, I will always give, you know, kudos and respect to him, right? And you know, he said to me, and before he died, I think he said to me, that's his thinking. I don't know. I am here looking to get wisdom. Yeah. I, I, uh, he said to me, right, that out of that, out of those people who are there in Haiti, one shall come that will lead the people. Yeah, that's what he said to me. Yeah, that's what he said to me. Right? And this was in my mind, I understand him and my, my, my poor parents. The recent one, like grandparents and so on. I born in 1955. You see, what I'm saying he had, he, had, he, he had, I, I'm saying to you all here, whatever you come and bring to the people, and I want, and this, this is the, this is the message I bring to you all, right? The message I bring to you all, even though in your effort to bring wisdom and the words to people that walk here, traverse here in a negative way, in a hostile way at times. You've got to stand up with strength and converse with them. That's your word. Um, that's your role. Um, scripture yes, does I, I just want to do something. That's why I understand. Scripture tells us so. You see, you misunderstand. All right, all right. Go on. Look. Just for the camera's sake, I want to just briefly, real brief, say what your, your rival's butler did for Trinidad. Well, 
well, he he and he wasn't a Trinidadian, he was a Grenadian. He born in Grenada, but he belonged to the tribe. Right. Yeah? yeah and he came to Trinidad and he was working in the oil field. Right? And he had service in that time in World War. So he, they, they went and they gave service. So he got exposed. Yeah? To trade unionism in that regard. And when he came back here, he mobilized the people because of the, the kind of uh, uh, conditions of work that they were made to work in the oil fields that resembled that of the slave plantation. So he mobilized the people and decided to march onto this establishment to demand changes and better conditions of work for the people. But he was heavily spiritual. Right. Because he never he never preached to the people and he never mobilized the people with all the Bible in his hand. Now watch this. Yeah. The big turn me chapter 28 verse 68. Rather me 28. 68. 68. Yes. Because you turn me chapter 28, verse 1 and 2 says, These are the blessings that we would have received if we had kept the law, statutes, and commandments. Verse, verse 3 to 14 are only blessings. Verse 15 says, These are the curses that we would have received. That is where we just derive from part, part of this. Because these people here on this side, they suffer all the curses. So that is, that is evidence to prove that these people here, of the 12 tribes on this side, are the people who we, who we call the Israelites. Right? Now, verse 15 goes to verse 68, our only curses. Verse 16 to 68, our only curses. Right? This is the last curse. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 20 years, verse 68. Uh huh. And the Lord said, I mean, I know, I know, it hits in your spirit like that. Go ahead. <laughs> And the, the Lord thing, shall this, break. This, this whole thing spiritual, because I sure yeah. you didn't leave home planning to see us today, right? You didn't leave home. But and look, we didn't even start off on our school. I, 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 if but I, I sp tell you what I was doing, then it's made it was made in a very strange thing, right? But go ahead. Then. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, we are spiritual, man. We're, we're very spiritual. Understand. So even as we speak in here and we reach this plateau here of understanding or reasoning or contending in, in, in faith, right? This is this whole thing is spiritual. What you just said, I'm gonna show you that, that that man prophesied to you. Go ahead. You rabbis but uh, prophesied to you. He was a trade union leader. He, 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 he rallied yes, he rallied the people and he said he used the Bible. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring his bring thee into Egypt. He shall bring thee into Egypt. The word Egypt goes back to Exodus 20 and 2. It means, it means the house of bondage. It means slavery, right? He says what the Lord shall bring us into Egypt because we go go ahead. Exodus 20 and 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. So he brought the Israelites out of Egypt and out of bondage, out of slavery. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into sheep. <laughs> Into Egypt again with ships. Right, so if you know where Egypt was from Israel, I'll show you. Know, it was it's walking distance. Right, so it wasn't it wasn't physical, it wasn't um, physical Egypt. It was spiritual Egypt. Because you already delivered us from there before. Go ahead. Revelation 11 verse 8 And the dead body shall lie in the street of the great city Which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt Right, so it's a spirit that we're dealing with The energy that's being pushed out So we die so called America Right? They are spiritually called Sodom and Egypt Because why? Who pushing homosexuality in the land of right, Obama? Right, when you see, you see those back to you see prior to that When you would know For instance, you would see uh, Babylon Right, right. The great Babylon and they are all they are That's all the scriptures call it. Right. And they are the all daughter the of Babylon. Point. Right. Who would have drink the wine of that cup? Right? right? So let let no, let let's let, 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 let come up. Right. Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh. Which is America. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spoke unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for born men and born woman. Born men and born woman, slave man and slave woman. And no man shall buy thee. And no man shall buy thee. No, you would buy means to redeem. That would buy means to redeem.